Hey guys, so it's me today, and I'm here doing the final part for of my whole entire collection. So here is everything all laid out. And I will not go into full description about every single detail. Like, this is a cat lunchbox. It is pink with black little whiskers and a hot pink nose. Some black eyes and a black bow with a little extra detail and that, that, and it says Hello Kitty. Now, I'll just go through them a little quick and tell you why they're set out like this. So, for one, they're in groups. And the, like, the groups can last for rows because I kind of spread it out. I mean, I had a whole table. So, from this heart all the way down and swerving around back here to this is kitchen. So, let's go through the kitchen first. So, I kept these little cups and um, at a party. That's why they have little holes in them because they used to be a necklace. And so did these. These all used to be necklaces. But I cut off the necklace on all these cups from here to here. And I had have these little beer cups kind of, but I just use them as regular. And this one, I only have two of these, but I have multiple of these. And this one's dirty. I need to clean it out. Um, I cleaned out these cups before I had the video, but not that one. And if you're wondering about the Play-Dohs, that is how I sculpt their food. Um, I sculpt it with Play-Doh. And I have blue, I have a turquoise, a turquoise, a green, a pink, and a yellow. Then I have a pink heart cookie sculptor is where I use it at. And then this can sculpt round things and I can make it flat. These poke little holes in it. The little things poke holes into the Play-Doh. And I put out some different ones because they could also roll it on the Play-Doh on this and to give it a little rough texture. So I put th four out, two big ones and two little ones. And they each have different uh, texture except for these two. I mean, if you flip it over on the other side, that, that's, yeah. And then you have the lunch boxes. So these are lunch boxes, and this it used to be a coin purse. I just use it as a lunch box now because it fits quite a bit of food. So it's a cheetah print, and it has a little zipper. And then this lunch box is a Hello Kitty uh, lunch box. It says Hello Kitty on the back, and it has a zipper and a little thing right here. So you uh, attach it to the back there. I'm sorry if y'all can't see. I keep thinking y'all are like up here whenever y'all are really down here. So if you can't see that well, that's my fault. So this, uh, I have no earthly idea what it is really, but I found it and I use it as a soda bottle now because it fits them nicely. These three things are little the abraser foods and they're kind of tiny, but no, they've, they're still foods. And this is the exact opposite of tiny. This is big and medium. Like, it fits them, but it also doesn't fit them. I don't know. It's just a banana. Then this is another food sculptor. You can sculpt food into round shapes and stuff. Then, this is my favorite part about the entire kitchen. Is the to-go Chinese food box. It can open. Uh, right here. And you... Oh, man, guys, sorry. It can open, and you can actually fit things inside of it. And there is a little handle. So my music teacher gave it to me because I asked for it. And he said, oh, sure, go ahead. I don't even know where I have it. And so, yeah. And then this is a little bottle that I got. And I just use it for them. I know it's too big, but I use it anyway. It could be like a vase and hold flowers. And this is a little seashell because this is a seashell family. They have one. They have like two in the bathroom. So there's this little seashell. 
that sits on the counter. And then that's this one. The, I mean, that's the kitchen area. So I packed away the kitchen supplies so I could talk about the bathroom supplies. So, as I said before, there's this little cup which I used in the kitchen and it did hold a candle, but now I put little seashells in it. Then right here we have three candles. There's two glittery ones. This one's broken, um, but it still works like it. My dog chewed it, so it's like broken right there. But they both work. And then I have this real candle, but it was pretty tiny. So I use it for them now. And then I have two duck um, bath toys. But the bath, other bath toy is way over here. But it's just a little character. I don't even know what movie it's from. But I just found that little character and it was so cute. Then we have this Great Wolf Lodge lotion. I have a lot of Great Wolf Lodge clothes and bears. But here we just have the lotion. So then right here you have, these are actually bubbles. Like you blow it on here and then you put it on here. And then you blow, oh wait, y'all guys can't. And then you put it on the end of one. And then you blow out the other end to make a bubble. But I use these as toothpaste and this as a toothbrush. And I will add the bristle soon. I just haven't had the time. So I have two toothpaste and two toothbrush. Now this is just a little decor I made at camp one year, and it's like glow in the dark. I know. And then here's a hairbrush with a little cherry on it. And then here's a rubber band packet. And then here's some stars from American Girl. And I made this little script scroll thing and thought might as well use it. And then here's just two perfumes. And then a bar of soap from Great Wolf Lodge. And I unwrapped it a long time ago because, I don't know, it just fell off kind of. So, it's a bar of soap. And then my dolls read books in the shower. So, here's their books from Naruto. This is The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I did make these with my brothers. This is Harry Potter. This is the Holy Bible. And I put a little cross next to it because I didn't know where this would go. So, I just put it right there. And this is horse supplies. This little thing goes over the horse neck right there through that hole and it covers him up. And then here's the horse certificate. So I'm just gonna pack that row up and the horse supplies. So the next thing is their craft supplies. So they have all their craft feathers and stuff in here and little stamps and stuff. And then they have some craft tissue paper. Then they have a holiday coloring book and a, another holiday coloring book. Then this is party supplies. So these three things are invitations. This is a party hat from, that's right, I got this the same place I got the cups. A party bag, some party uh, noises, noiser things. And then we have some wall posters right here. And this has like glitter bottles, which also kind of goes with the craft, but not really. A glitter tree. And a sweet frog coupon. And then, and then over here, there is posters as well. A Valentine fish poster. A Valentine poster, poster that has a writing on it. And then another little bunny poster kind of thing. And then we have a drawer, and it just has a little flower detail, and you can hold a few things in here. And now I'm just gonna pack this row, these two rows up. So for the stuff left, um, this actually, and sorry for the noise. This is the rest of the row that we were on, and this is dresser things, kind of. So we got two little statue pigs here. I don't know where they came from. I just like them so much. And they have their little eraser phone thing. Oh no, I like it. And it has a blue case. And then they have this angel and it turns on and it looks like a night light. And it's green and it's blue and it's red. And then 
I have this thing. It has a pink money sign on it. I don't even know where I got it. I got it from my uncle's room, actually. But I don't know what it's used for, so I use it for a little decoration. And then there's little spikes in it. So the next row is dresser things, like other things that might go in a dresser. But only like half the row is. So these are some My Life headphones. Um, they fit the dolls really good. So it's just some My Life blue headphones. <laughs> and then I have these um, My Life glasses. They came with um, one of my first my first doll, and they're blue. And then I found this little leopard puppet thing. It's like a finger puppet, but I the glasses fit in there perfect from like the head all the way down to the body. Body. So I use that as a glasses cape. Then you have some sunglasses. And they're pink, and they are my life as well. No, please and, then, water. and then you have, sorry, my Nana is watching TV. And then you have a pink little flashlight I found in a gift bag, and it does actually work. That's why I like it. Can't hardly hear it as it is. It is all the way up. And then um, you have a magnifying glass and some and a stapler. Then you have her passport. I think I went through this passport. No, I didn't. I'll go into detail with that at the end because I really want to go into detail with that. So I'll make another one and then show y'all how I made that. Then you have the jewelry. And it's just a little necklace with a bracelet. And along with the jewelry is a tiara. Two tambourines. Well, this isn't with the jewelry, but you know. Two tambourines. Two sets of tambourines. Which I, I know it's in human world. It's for belly dancing, but I use it for the doll. And then this is for the... This is actually a... Monster High purse, but I use it for the mini dolls whenever I get one, because I really want one. Then this is a little trash can. It used to have a lid. It has some trash in there, because yeah, it has a Nemo sticker and an Elsa sticker. Pretty basic. Then the washroom set. That goes in the washroom and the kitchen. Then for the washroom set, I have these two My Life hangers that I can that I hang up. And then here's the little washer. You hang it sideways like this and then push it open and then push the clothes in there. And I do have to cut this out soon. So time to just pack this all up. So for the last two rows, they have their three pets. The walrus that used to make noise. I don't know. Yeah, it does. And then you have the mouse that used to move, but it doesn't. Then you have the sea turtle that never did anything. And then you have this pink little bow that I made. It looks ugly because I was in a rush, but... Oh, sorry guys, y'all can't even see this stuff. And then you have this cute little decorative hat that don't fit any of it all, but I use it anyway. Then I have this mouse Cinderella statue. Then in this random shoe, I don't even know where it goes, so I just keep it with that because it matches the bottom. Then we have these two gingerbread houses. Um, we colored this one to make it look like a child colored it for a, a photo shoot. And then we have this one. And we have this little outside pop thing, a bobber. And then we have a ball with Olav on it. And we have a frisbee with Raphael on it. And it's green. Then last but not least, we have this ball that says my name and it's inflatable. I... So that's the ball. And that's it. Time to pack all this up. So now that the table is empty, sorry, these two. You can tell that that is all. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And yeah. 
and comment down below what you guys want me to do more or less of. So, bye. Thanks for watching.